Hey Mike, have you packed for the cruise? Uh, yeah. Did you remember the medical kit? Got it! Hi friends, it's Mike and Nancy from Living Phase 2. Welcome! So as you saw previously, in the previous video, Mike and I carry a medical kit. It's really even more than a medical kit. It's really an essentials kit because not all the items in here are medically related. But as you move into living phase two, there's just, there's more things that we just need to think about when we're traveling and away from home. So we're going to go through our essentials kit with you. Yeah, I would agree. You know, it used to be when you were 20 years old, you could pop out of bed, throw a pair of shoes on and, <laughs> and hit anymore. the road. Yeah, now you got to think about all those little things as our bodies are changing, getting into phase two. So should we break into the kit? Yeah, this this is just, it's, it's just an old shaving kit, an old dot kit. So it, it's approximately, I don't know, 10 by six by four. Those are approximate measurements on it, but uh, it, it holds everything that we need. Mm -hmm. So we'll open okay. it up. All right, go ahead, Mike. All right. Well, the first one is, and again, we will mention where we get a lot of these. Uh, most of them you can just pick up at Target or Walmart. Uh, there might be a couple of these items that you may want to get from Amazon just from a standpoint of, uh, you know, better prices and better product. But the first one is motion sickness relief. Again, a generic. This is the Walmart brand Equate, but this is equivalent to the product Bomine. So um, this is the one that we found. Fortunately, both Nancy and I really aren't too susceptible to motion sickness. We just bring a small little eight tablet um, container with us. Because when you're on the cruise and the seas get rough, you just you just never know and we want to be prepared. Right, so this is the one that we like. And uh, the other thing is if you think you may be susceptible to motion sickness, one little warning. This is from my many years of scuba diving and going on very small boats and some very high seas. Start taking this product two to three days before you get on the cruise ship. Let it build up in your system. Uh, kind of once you're already sick, it's almost a little too late. I mean, you can obviously take it and it will help. Uh, but if you think you are susceptible two to three days in advance, and again, Bomine, this is the Equate. You could, there's lots of them out there. Okay, next one. The next that we have is an anti-diarrheal medication. Again, this is a generic form. Um, you can you can get the the trade name if you like. Uh, you, you never know. You have to be prepared, <laughs> especially when you're traveling, eating yes. different foods, going to different countries. That's right. Yeah. You know, again, we don't necessarily take this if we go to the kids' house. This is when we're going on a cruise, going on an inclusive, going to places where exactly. you can't necessarily easily access this. When we're going out judging barbecue competitions, we don't necessarily take this kit because. There's a Walmart everywhere we go judge barbecue. So, but if you're on a, a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, yeah, yeah, this is where you may. That is true. This is where this comes in handy. Mm -hmm. um, I really like this one. This is from my days as an old scout leader. Uh, this is a package of moleskin packs. So uh, you notice they're all already pre-cut. You don't have to take scissors. Any of you who have tried to cut moleskin in the past know how tough it is. You just peel this on put it on the hot spot and you're good to go. Now this is one that we did get from Amazon and you can see a link to this and uh, this this one's worked out great. You notice there's one or two missing in here. We have used these, mm -hmm. so. For sure. And the next is just some cold medicine, some daytime and nighttime cold medicine. Yep, the standard stuff. Yes. And again, getting back to those old Boy Scout days, a simple, very small hiking first aid kit. Uh, this one is great. It's a little zippered kit. And really you don't need a lot of fancy stuff in here, mainly some bandages because you are going to get a cut or a scrape, a little alcohol wipe. Uh, but other than that, this again, very small kit. This doesn't have to be a, you know, something, uh, you know, for major medical, but a small first aid kit. Okay. The next kind of go hand in hand, both are for sunburn relief. I've got some solar cane and some ice, uh, gel ice. Both of them help for sunbirds. Hopefully you take along plenty of sunscreen and you don't get sunburned to begin with, but 
You never know. Yep. And to that point, um, you know, you'll notice we don't have sunscreen in here, uh, but that's always something we pack when we go almost anywhere with, uh, especially not having any hair on my head and being fair skinned. Sunscreen is so critically important. And don't forget, when you get on a cruise ship, it may be available on the cruise ship, but it could be 20 to $30 for a tube or small a can thing, yes, of, a, of sunscreen. So think ahead on that sunscreen mm -hmm. and make sure you bring it. Um, the next thing that we bring is a little bit of um, antacid. So you can bring Tums, you can bring Maalox, just something because again, when you're traveling, doing all inclusives, doing cruises, uh, and especially in phase two of life, uh, you never know if your stomach's gonna get a little upset or uh, if you may need this. Well, and here's also some acid prep. So that kind of goes along hand right. in hand with yeah. that. I used to have an iron stomach and never needed this. This is the actual members mark, the Sam's Club version. And this stuff is awesome. You take this an hour before you eat. And once I've taken this, I've never had a problem uh, since, uh, since taking that. Uh, some gold bond or uh, monkey butt. This happens to be little travel sizes of gold bond powder. Um, just handy if, if you're you're feeling like you, you've got a rash. So mm -hmm. yep, that especially it's just wearing a handy thing to have, especially yeah. wearing well, a swimsuit. All I right. was just gonna say mm -hmm. swimsuit, and if you're out in the ocean, the salt water that's on you can really be irritating to your skin. Mm -hmm. That medicated powder can a lifesaver yes. sometimes. Uh, the next one is some small. The brand name would be Pepto Bismol. Um, they're bismuth pa uh, tablets, the little pink ones. Uh, we don't necessarily take the liquid with us. We always just keep a few of these tablets in here. Again, you can get a generic version of this, uh, but keep some of these. It kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, with the tums. Okay. Now we're kind of getting away from the medical supplies, mm -hmm. but uh, this is uh, some some deep woods off. Uh, if you, they're they're like it's like a moist towelette is what it's like so if you're going to be out and about in um in mosquitoes and and other mm -hmm. ticks things that you don't want on you these are a really handy thing to have yeah and these packs actually come with it if you buy your uh, bug spray at costco uh, mm -hmm. they'll come yep. with a dry uh, deep woods off and they always come with some of these so we take the uh, pads and we throw them in this kit uh, the next one is, because I can't eat anything without getting it on me, seemingly, so <laughs> it's shout wipes. These are awesome. You just open them up and uh, wipe down the stain and you're good to go. So that way you don't have to take 10 shirts with you. Uh, <laughs> just bring a few of these and touch them up if you get a little uh, spaghetti sauce on your shirt. Earplugs for me when he snores. <laughs> 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 a uh, small reusable lint roller. This one works really well. You simply run hot water over it. It refreshes the uh, little sticky rubber part to it and uh, it's very portable and uh, goes in here so you can always roll that lint and again you may be wearing clothes multiple times on a cruise or an all-inclusive. This can come in real handy. Dental floss necessity so but we always keep that handy yep and I think we're down to maybe just uh, about the last product here is um, I keep a small um, shoe cleaner um, most of the time we're wearing sandals and, and tennis shoes but if you do have a dress pair of shoes for a formal night on a cruise um, some of the all-inclusives do require you to wear long pants uh, so having a little small sponge, it's a silicone impregnated sponge that can kind of clean your shoes up real quick. And that way you have that to touch up too. And you always have it with us. All Anything right. else that you see? I think no, we've pretty much hit our, the bottom. Our Mary Poppins bag is empty yep. here. So, so. You, you can see on the table here, uh, all of this fits into a pretty small container. And that way we always have it with us. We never forget these items. None of them are super expensive. So that way we keep duplicates, I guess you'd say. We don't try to pack what's in our uh, in our bathroom medicine cabinet. We, this is our travel kit that's always packed. Right. Anything else? And, uh, yes, there is. Mm -hmm. So a couple of times a year, I go through the bag and I also check expiration dates. And a good yes. thing to think about, or a good time to do it, is when you're setting your clock forward and clock back. That that's just a good time. We, we, you know, we change the batteries mm -hmm. in the smoke detectors and in some of our clocks. It's also a good time to check for expiration dates on your medications. And if we don't use out of here as often as we do at home. And so if something's getting ready to expire, I'll pull it out of here. I'll put it just on our medicine, in our medicine cabinet at home, and I'll restock this with something for, that's got a fresh um, shelf life to it. Mm -hmm. So as always, 
We hope this was helpful. We try to bring helpful, good information to people who are living phase two like we are. And if it was, we ask you to like and subscribe to our channel, Living Phase 2. Turn on notifications. Absolutely. We are going to have several videos coming out. We've got ones on all-inclusives, cruises, and not only that, but things on health, wealth, family, lots of things related to Living Phase 2 are, are lined up and on deck for us to, uh, to create some videos here soon. So we hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video, and I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.